Hello. Today we are going to talk about the supplies that you are going to need for bottom surgery, MTF style. We'll start with this first product, which is a hot and cold ice pack that has all these little pearls on it and you have an indicator that's saying like hot or cold. Um, I don't know what uh, it's brand name is Thera Pearl 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 Thera Pearl. That's such a tongue twister. And this is kind of what it looks like. It's uh, this pack that pretty much wraps around you. I think it has a strap um, across it. So if I open this up. You got like, kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a belt, it looks like. A Velcro type of belt that you would put across you. So that should be helpful when I have my surgery. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. And our next product is a bunch of wipes. You are going to need these for when you have your surgery. Well, these are more of like, hey, you gotta clean yourself up and use these. Um, these are very generic brand of wipes, it looks like. I got them from a friend of mine that just so happened to have so much of them. So, yeah. <laughs> That's that product. On to the next one. This one is a little bit more, um, you know, for the bleeding that's going to be happening during surgery. So you actually have to get like a couple packs of pads. And I actually have so many so many of them right now because you also have to think about when you're dilating and all of the nasty stuff that is coming out from that you're going to have to deal with so it's always best to have backups so i have those on to the next product this next product is for after a while of having your surgery and you have to go and dilate um, they recommend that you get water soluble lubricant so I got like three or four of these things uh, from Safeway and they're actually pretty cheap there so I highly recommend getting them from there this item is a must it's a flushable wipes and I got the Cottonelle brand and I think I also got a generic brand but I got so many of them because you don't want it to sting and hurt after you have surgery and there is going to be a lot of stinging and this will help with that um, because I guess the normal toilet paper would cause irritation and discomfort after you have surgery. So if if I'm wrong, you guys could uh, comment down below in the comment section and, uh, you know, keep me to my facts. On to the next product. This one is actually recommended by the doctors. Uh, this was the one that was recommended to me. It's called uh, Fleet and it's a laxative uh, saline enema that you have to use both of these before surgery. Um, I think one is the night of and then the other one is probably right before you have surgery. I'm, I'm unclear about that. Um, I'm gonna have to look at the paperwork to verify you guys on that and just throw out a comment. Maybe I'll pin it to the top of the comment and uh, yeah, tell you guys about that. So on to the next product. 
This next product is a stool softener. I got the generic brand yet again from Safeway. Very, uh, very cheap amount for this. And you are going to need this because you may possibly be constipated uh, due to the anesthesia that you are on. So, fun times. <laughs> um, I think it's always good to have these, um, especially during the bowel prep um, before surgery. Um, it's very important. On to the next product. So this next product is something that is very easy to buy. Panties, but you want to get them a couple sizes larger because during the surgery, well, no, after the surgery, uh, you're gonna have to like put on the pads and they tell you to wear very loose um, type of underwear um, so that you're not putting pressure on the incision spot, which makes complete sense to me. So you don't want it to feel horrible down there. You don't want it stinging. You don't want it to just get irritated. So it's best idea to get two sizes up. That's what I went with. So I got a size 10. Yeah, so. <laughs> Size up on that and on to the next product. This next product is under pads and what these are useful for is it's pretty much just a pad that goes over your bedding and it helps, um, you know, for like when you're bleeding and so it won't go all over the, the mattress that they have there. And it also helps when you're dilating so that the mess is an easy cleanup and you don't have this mess all over your bed. So it's probably a good idea to get these. And that was the last product that I have for you guys today. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and found it very informational because I have not seen any of these videos uploaded to YouTube at all about the type of supplies that you may need for bottom surgery. Uh, there is a couple that I haven't mentioned in this video, which I'm going to right now. So I believe you should have like, kind of like a donut, um, just for like when you're sitting um, because when you sit down after your surgery, it's going to be sore and tender and it would probably be a best idea to have some comfort underneath you. Um, I also, like somebody also recommended to me to have a cane, but I don't know how much of that is true. I don't know if I would go out and get a cane just for the surgery. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share on all of those fun social media outlets. This has been Chloe O'Neill, and I am signing off.